So we're day 127. We've still got about 15, 16 days until I want to head to Shipwrecked probably. Um, I could go to Reign of Giants, but I think Shipwreck just has more use, to be honest. So we've, we've got quite a long time to prepare, and I'm basically ready to go, unfortunately. But I, you know, I, I can't go now because it'll be the dry season, so I have to wait. I'm just thinking of what I could do between now and then that would actually be useful. And I think the most useful thing that I could do would be to start tearing down this world, this second city. So, yeah, I think I'm going to head over and do a bit of that. Um, I might dig up all the turf, or should I smash the buildings? Let's dig up the turf first. Uh, can I take Robin? Do you have stuff? Mm, not really. Okay. Well, I mean, I have a fair amount of space. I can hold like 50, 90 pieces of turf. So that should be enough. And hopefully it doesn't take me too long either. Shame about these trees. There's nothing that I can do. I can chop them. I think they'll still get upset at me if I chop them down, even though they're, they're burnt. That was weird. And I might even consider going to this island and sort of seeing how far in it goes, how close it is. Because that could be a good way of getting to the Pugilisk ruins. Although honestly there's not really that much that I would want to do there. I can dig up the turf and get rocks. That's about it though. I get the magic water. The water actually grows back, doesn't it? So you can get, like, a lot. <laughs> I wonder if you can die by getting too much of the magic water. That would be funny. I saw there was a new trailer for Griftlands, the new the new clay game that they they announced like two years ago <laughs> i think they had to like scrap it and remake it and they weren't happy with it or something like that but yeah they finally announced that it's coming in july i think coming soon for like an alpha build that you can test but it's going to be epic exclusive so that's a, a big yikes from me. Um, I don't plan on playing it if it's an epic exclusive. Although they said that it's going to be an alpha for a full year. And then it will be released on Steam to coincide with early access. And that's, I don't know how long it'll spend in early access before it goes to the full release. But that is a long alpha, like a whole year. When you look at Hamlet for comparison, the alpha was like two, three weeks or something, a month at most. I guess my take on that is the game is nowhere near ready. Um, Epic gave them a lot of money to make an Epic exclusive, which is fine. I mean, if you need the money, take the money. Um, they're going to ship an unfinished game to get the epic exclusive deal done. You can play it and test it if you like. But hey, I mean, in my situation, I'll just wait till it comes out on Steam. It'll probably be, you know, twice as good as the game will be in the beta anyway. So, or the alpha, not even beta. Wow, I really underestimated just how much turf there is here. Look at this, I'm not even like half done. I'm just gonna leave this like... Oh, will this... Uh, like be blown away? That would suck. I can build a chest. Maybe I'll do that. 
But yeah, so I, I planned on playing Grifflands to at least test it out, but now I, I probably won't. And honestly, after seeing the initial footage, um, it didn't really appeal to me. I think I was, I was interested to, oh, it doesn't blow away. Okay, good. I was interested, they, their original concept for Grifflands was like an RPG kind of game. And they weren't happy with it. They scrapped it. They redid it. And I think what it originally was, was more interesting than what it actually is now. Now it's, it's more like a, a it's, it reminds me a bit of Gwent, <laughs> like the card game. You deal with cards and decks and things like that. Um, eh, not a huge fan of that kind of game. It could be your thing. Who knows? Give it a look, but not for me. And yeah, the reason why I mentioned this game in the first place is because my channel is basically like a, a clay game channel <laughs> at this point. Um, I do plan on playing other games in the near future as well. And um, if you've been on my channel for any length of time, you'll know that I don't only play clay games. But yeah, it's been like that for a little while now. Oxygen Not Included is coming back as well. So I'm very excited to play that and I will be playing that. I think this month it's going to come into a beta build, a beta branch. So I'll play that. That should be good. I've been very happy with that game. So yeah, um, there's also a few other games that I will be playing in the next month or so. E3 is a, a great time to play new games. So I'm always very busy with like all the releases coming out at this time. I'm sure you've seen like a bunch of trailers and stuff over the last few days. Also, if you had any suggestions of games that you would like me to play, I'm always open to playing new things. Like I've watched probably 80, 90% of the trailers that I've seen, of like the trailers that have been shown at E3. And, you know, I've made my own lists of games that I think would be interesting to play. Not all of them I would put on the channel, but if there are some games that you find interesting and you think that I would find interesting, feel free to suggest it. Um, you know, I've, I watched the Bethesda showcase and there was a new game that they had. What was it called again? Deathloop. That looks pretty cool. I'm not sure if I would play it on the channel, but I'll definitely give it a go um, in my own time at least. It's got the, the voice actor for the guy who plays Lee in The Walking Dead. So that's pretty cool. I, I recognized it instantly. He's got such a recognizable voice. Dave Fenoy is his name. Fantastic voice actor. So yeah, that's one game that I'm excited about. Um, I'm actually low-key excited about what's coming with Fallout 76. I know it's been a very controversial game and a lot of people just dismissed it almost immediately, but I think it, it will eventually be a decent game. And as someone who already owns the game, I, you know, I'm glad that they continue to update it. One game that I'm really disappointed though, um, I don't know if you guys have heard of Commander Keen. Um, it's a pretty old franchise, like the first game was in 1990 or something, back on the MS-DOS. I used to play the crap out of Commander Keen, the very first one. I think I played a little bit of like the fourth one or something like that as well, but the, that first Commander Keen game was like... I, I spent a lot of my, my childhood, like when I was five, six, seven years old playing that game. Man, that one and Duke Nukem were like the the mainstays of my childhood on the on my Windows 95 PC. <laughs> I swear I'm not that old, but it sounds old. But yeah, um, what annoyed me is they 
they did like a, a reboot of Commander Keen, except shit, and it's a mobile game, and it looks just awful. Like, it looks so bad, and I'm really disappointed. Like, I would have honestly preferred to just have no game than have that. But hey, that's, that's how it is these days. Companies gonna make money. And unfortunately, they, they care more about the money than making a decent game. So, whatever. I hope, hope it crashes and burns and no one buys it and they just forget about it and it's just erased from living memory. <laughs> Ooh, it's getting a bit dark here. I realize I've just been like ranting for 10 minutes or so. Um, I might just dig all this stuff up and skip to after that. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm just going to keep talking for the whole episode. Alright, we're just about done here. Just this tiny little street here off to the side. Um, I even dug up all of the um, the turf outside the palace. So if I want more lawn, lawn turf, I can... Oh, no! <laughs> Two pieces to go. Yeah, so if I want more lawn turf, then I have that as well. Uh, yeah, that's it. Awesome. There's that, but that's like in the middle of the maze, and I can't be bothered getting that. Uh, I can... Oh, I don't have the hammer. There's also a treasure chest in there for whatever reason but let's just head back I could gather all the stuff and put it on the side but eh I mean I have what a hundred I think that's enough for now it should keep me busy keep me stocked for a long time oh yeah another game that um, I saw this week that I'm very interested in playing again is Terraria. I think they... I'm not sure if it's the final update. They made it seem like it was the final update. But yeah, it's getting... I think update 1.4 is coming out soon. Well, they said it would come out this year, but... I mean, if you know Terraria, you know that things get delayed quite a bit. So I'm probably expecting it right at the end of the year. Or maybe even early next year. But yeah, that's very exciting. I love Terraria. And I look forward to playing that too. Or Terraria, as people call it. I don't know. I would say Terraria. Terraria. Like Italiano. So the lush season is almost over. That's really good. But what it's going to mean, if there's like one or two more days of this season... Then we'll finish on day 130. It means that around the time that I'm going to be going, it's going to be fog season, which kind of sucks. See, now that I have the nettles, it's only the fog season that's bad. Every other season is actually good. It's, you know, tolerable, if not useful. Ooh, this is a... Ah, get stuck. Come on. Yes! <laughs> get some free money in there. See so if we get some turkeys as well. Uh, what I might do tomorrow, I might... If it's still the lush season, it might be too late, I don't know. I might go have a look and see if I can get some bramble bulbs. Because the lush season is the only time that you can get them. And they're not bad. I mean, making the ender's chest is kind of helpful. I was thinking about it in particular when I go to this city, I could just stock up that, build a chest here, stock it up with all the turf, go back home, and yeah, empty it. So I build one here as well, obviously. But I really want coffee. I really want coffee. Coffee just unlocks the entire game. It's like the cheat code, even though it's not a cheat. I love it so much. Alright, let's make some food for the day. What is there to eat? Uh, just make some meatballs, I guess. It's a solid food. Until I get honey, then I'd switch over to honey ham, probably. 
That's one thing I need to make more of. Honey ham is good. Really good. Good for food. Good for health. Although my health is full. Ah, uh, speaking of health. I don't know whether I want to build... Or whether I want to plant that magic water or not. Because it would reduce my health by like 30. So I would end up with 120 health. Which is not a lot. It's probably enough. But... Hmm, I mean, it's it's getting to that point where it's quite low. I don't know if it's better off. And, like, there's no booster shots or anything, so I can't regenerate that health. I don't know if I'm better off just keeping the health. Because, I mean, you saw how many times... I think it's already twice now that I've had, like, less than five health. So, if I had built that... If I had planted the magic water, I would have died. I would have been resurrected, but I would have died. What am I looking for? There are gears there. Hmm. Do you have berry bushes? One berry bush. I wish they restocked the, the cabinets at the back. Like the lady that sells eggs and then they turn rotten and I mean, even if you buy the rotten eggs or the fresh eggs, that's it. You never get any more. You never get any more rocks or flint or, you know, nida. That's it. Kind of a shame. Why are they not restockable shelves? Cool. Uh, I don't think I'm going to buy the pine cones. I'll get plenty more now that I have the, the trees growing. I also need to plan the layout of those trees because it's going to get very hard to be able to even see the thumper soon. So I need to be careful how I do that. Alright, there are no big trees yet. That's so good. Hopefully they all grow at the same time. Hey dude, should I get rid of this? Just remove that from the map. Get all the rocks and stuff. Eh. Probably. I don't know if I'll be able to destroy or kill the pigs. That's the only thing. They stay. They're hard to kill, those guys. I'll have to wait till they fall asleep or something. Can you, like, move away for a second? What are you even doing? <laughs> ah, I'll put this on just in case. Okay. Take that lovely meat. If you pick it up and put it back down on the floor, they don't get triggered if you pick it up again. Just FYI. Oh, they also have this here for me to use. Thank you. I'll collect it all in a sec. Or just empty my pockets first. Oh no! So, okay. You gotta make... Oi! Clarence! How come you didn't tell me, huh? So, I'll smash the houses as well. Those houses you can't rebuild. You know, maybe I'll keep them there. Just for the time being at least. Because you can't build those again. That's it. Like you destroy them and they're gone. So I'll keep them there. But as for all this stuff, I'll pick that up. Some good 
uh, flint as well, which I needed. I wish you could build those. You should be able to. And I guess we hammer this as well. Should I kill Clarence or let him live? He's kind of like my caretaker. He looks after the place when I'm gone. I think I'll let him live. Yeah, he can, he can hang around. He eats the seeds that are on the floor. <laughs> Alright, I almost need another chest again. I was trying to think of what things I would take with me to shipwreck as well. And I really don't need that much because most of the stuff that I would need are very easy to get while I'm there. I have the materials to build the, um, the Skyworthy. All I need is the Silly String, which I can only get when I'm already there. As for boards, all I really need is a hammer. And there's like a shitload of boxes and crates and things to hammer as soon as you turn up on the island. So, I mean, I'm not even worried about that. Um, gears, there are a lot there. So I don't have to worry about that. And there's really not much I need. Vines and bamboo and stuff are easy to get there as well. Uh, these trees. Come on. Probably in like two or three days. Oh yeah, I forgot the brambles. Damn it. So they're probably disappearing now. Get a mind. Leave that little, little lodging there. I like that. Yeah, all the brambles are already gone. Wow, that was quick. Oh yeah, you guys rightly pointed out I can get some flint from these balls. Uh oh. At least it's during the day. And I just got rid of the guards. Typical. Another reason I need to head to shipwreck. I need the elephant cactus. I'm going to go around my base. I don't want them in there. Oh, the only place where there's still brambles, apparently. Do they fight it? Oi. Cool. They still seem to have that issue with the bats where they get too far away and they just forget what they were doing. Hey. I'm back here. I'm not the one who's chasing you. You're chasing me. That, that's about it, I think. Unless they're attacking Robin. No. Alright. Only three meat. That's alright. You don't really need it right now. I wish I could see the actual bramble bulb. Does it disappear immediately or does it fade away like these? I think it would disappear immediately. Oh yeah, we gotta smash this. We'll take all this stuff back. Was there anything else I had left in here? A few plumes. That's it. Okay. This is very close to my base. I have a lightning rod there. I'm pretty sure lightning preferences the rod. But not 100% sure. Maybe I should move it just to be safe. Alrighty guys, I'm going to have to leave it there for today. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, leave a like if you did, and I'll see you guys next time, take care.